Theme song. Hello, we're back. With the booby coot. <laughs> Ass Randy Poot. Um, so this is two? Or is no, no, we're still, still on one. one. Oh, we're still on one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was in advanced English, not advanced maths. So I had fun in the hospital this week. I was in implied maths. What did in you do the, in the, the hospital? In the methy hospital. Have they got, like, your butthole fixed yet? Nah, nah, nah. So Shit. I was going in for my prep. Um, all right, yeah, yeah. So important. they like take your blood pressure and all the stuff, and make sure you know you're not bleeding internally or sick or anything. <laughs> and my blood's in the inside. So this is the Ipswich Hospital. So yeah, it's not the classiest of places. Um, yeah, how would we def describe Ipswich really? Like, cause... like a slight, sort of like you know, more decent. It's like the. Slightly higher class people moved out of Goodnet to Ipswich. Yeah, like it's 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 kind of like fucking Steed Ulrich to Brisbane's Johnny Depp. Mm. You know, like it's not the original's really not even that good at the moment, but like this is still sort of worse. Yeah. So I go out there, and as I'm like I'm running slightly late, I'm freaking out a little bit, and I'm pulling in, so I'm just like. I'm not going to try to find one of the little cheap parks on the street. I'm going yeah. into the stupid expensive thing because I'm just, I need to. Hospital parking, man. So as I'm pulling in, there's no boom gates or anything. There's road spikes. That's my first warning sign. <laughs> so like, least great road looking spikes road spikes. And like, just this cowboy with a hat down over his eyes and like a lasso ready to like <laughs> fucking catch any varmints that try to escape. So I'm scared to drive on the spot. I, I can't jump on that apparently. Huh. Um, right. I'm scared to drive on the spikes as it is, so... I, I drive over them and it sort of scans my thing and cause it's it's a, it's one of those stupid contactless ones. The spikes are like, we'll see you again. Yeah, and I drive up in it and there's <laughs> yeah, no parks. Up in it. There's no parks at all. Like, uh, I, I go past one near the very bottom. And I, I, I made a mistake not taking that one. I get to the very top of the car park. There's no other parks. So I'm just crossing my anus that that park is still available. <laughs> It was, thankfully. Oh, wow. I pulled into it, you know, went to get to the second level to get the walkway across. Elevator doesn't work. <laughs> this other lady, like, walks in. She's, like, press the button. I'm like, I don't think it worked. And she starts freaking out. She's like, how do we get to the top then? And I'm just like, there's a staircase. She's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I just, and I'm like... <laughs> I, I'd have told her that there was a rope outside. <laughs> I, I, you just get the rope. Like, let's give your arms. You know. Uh, so, the cripples could use it because they're all arms now. So we go in the, into the thing, and she rushes past me and flies up the stairs. I don't know what was going on. Maybe she had a case of terminal diarrhea. Maybe. Comes out the door at the top, you know, nearly slams it in my face. She's like, oh my god, did I almost hit you? I'm like, no, no, you're cool. And off she goes, and I cross the walkway towards the hospital, which I realize is not a walkway, really. It's just over the road, which leads you to the exact same place of walking out the bottom of the fucking thing. <laughs> Even though it says walkway to hospital. Like, because usually with those car park things, you can't get across. Spin around on the fucker. Yeah, yeah it's vulnerable to spinnies. Spinny roonies. So I'm walking in and I'm seeing the delightful ferals around. And Oh, yeah, like fucking, it's... It's one of those places where you get access to some amazing ferals. Mm. Like ones that you're just not going to normally see, like, well, you know, because you don't go anywhere near where they go anymore. Yeah. And like, yeah, like the only time I I've seen... I can't jump on some... those ones either. Fuck That's sake. bullshit, dude. Like, the only time you fucking see these mutants is like, oh yeah, this is fucking, you know, Davo had his fucking face punched in by his, like, sort of de facto son-in-law, <laughs> and... Oh, shit. Uh, at least he touched a checkpoint. So yeah, I'm, I'm walking in, and they... They have greeting people everywhere, because otherwise the ferals just wander free range. Yeah, I... Uh, they don't want them wandering around the hospital, you yeah, know. Yeah, hello, just... you're in a place of civilization and people. Yeah. Please uh, try to remember that. Just a lot of these doors in hospitals are just unlocked. Like, you yeah. can't go places, but... They're you're just supposed unlocked. to, yeah. Like, they're just... They're places you, you'll end up in a dead end, but ferals will get lost. So you got you got them just wandering the halls and shit. So the, this old man's greeting me, and he's like... He scans my Medicare card in this machine. And he's like, oh, escort you to your destination. I'm like, I really don't think you need to. Yeah. And he's like, no, no, they make us. And I'm like, okay. He takes me. He's like, I'll take you halfway. I'm like, all right. All right. We have to. You might wind up in a feral pen. So. Four, five. Ah, oh, shit. So I arrive at the place. <sighs> I'm, I'm concentrating on the story trying to think of what comes next. I arrive in the place I've got to be for my appointment. 
and it's it's it looks all disheveled. There's just three doors lined up, bunch of seats, this fat looking nurse there. A goat. I'm scared, man. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna die. Someone's gonna steal my kidney. Is the goat the surgeon? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> the goat's the anesthetist. <laughs> And the ladies, like, the nurse is attending someone, so I'm just sort of standing there awkwardly off to the side, not knowing what I should do. Because there's a sign that says, put fucking your paper in tray and wait for nurse. And I'm like, where's this tray? There's no tray. She's like, I'll oh, just put it in the tray, and she walks off. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so she pointed towards this door, and I walked towards the door, and I sort of stick my head in. There's old, another lady in there, and I'm like, oh, I don't really know where to put this. Do I? And she's like, oh, the tray on the wall out there. And it's like nearly behind the door. Yeah. It's like in a corner. No one can see this tray. It's not the place for a tray. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, trays go on top of desks. Yeah. So not I'm very, like I'm very upset at this shit. point. And I keep seeing this lady walk in and out. And she looks a, she looks a bit of a feral. I don't know what she's doing. Like, she's walking in and out. I want a feral like The nurse sees me and takes all my stuff, writes down the stuff, etc. What I'm allergic to, all the stuff I've already told them a million times, but I, could, I don't want to die. Yeah. <laughs> And Let's just hammer these points home. Uh, so, she says, okay, you need to see the doctor next. Just wait outside. Wait another 30 minutes. You know, and I end up going in the room. That lady that I think is being a feral was actually the doctor. <laughs> now, she... By the way, I think she's a feral. She's got sort of long blonde hair tied in a ponytail, but it looks really off colour and lank. and Methy. And she's her, her skin's like all sort of yeah. chapped and stuff. And she was... It was her office, yet she sat with her handbag over her shoulder. That's weird. That's yeah. a little bit weird. Because I think she thinks someone's going to try to steal it if it was just in the room. Because <laughs> she's exiting in a lot. It, it just, it, the whole thing threw me. I, I mean, I, if you were really into, like, fucking, you know, opiates, working at a hospital would be a great place probably, for Probably, yeah. You'd get, you know, get the best shit. Yeah, yeah, she definitely looked like she was on something. Uh, I don't know, man. It just it threw me for a loop. The, the, the purse thing, the I purse, kept staring yeah. at it. I'm like, why are you holding your purse? Ah, oh, it's full of sandwiches. It's just like, do people steal your sandwiches here. What's going on? Probably, man. Like that's a, that's the fucking problem. Is like most. Well, the nurse wasn't even, seen, I guess. Yeah, even <laughs> in like fucking Ipswich, you know, it's like mostly like there's a lot of old people and like fucking shit, and it's just, but it's just that like fucking, you know, if someone. Wipes like one skid mark of poop on like a biscuit, and like yeah, you could probably get rid of it and just not eat the poop. But like, <laughs> that's you, you know you don't want to, and nah. that's the problem. Is like yeah, there's like only really a skid mark of ferals, but you can't have shit around them because they take it, and that makes you paranoid. Yep. You know it's just like oh, I'd like to be able to just leave this unlocked and not have to worry because who'd fucking steal it? Oh right, some cunt. Like that's ferals. yeah, it's just there's just some cunt. You know they're there. They're never gonna not be there. Like, Fuck, it just ruins, you know, it just ruins everything. You know, you're why we have to have, like, fucking frightened goddamn surgeon fucking looking, you know. I fucked this. Really? Maybe. Uh, oh, no, go, I Aaron, go. Now I did. Now you did, yeah. See, that's, you know, you can't, I like... I preemptive fucked it, and that's yeah, what yeah. fucked me. You in the end. You, 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 you pre cum. Oh, no. was, you you fucked it with pre cum. <laughs> no, Bronco, <laughs> not the pre cum. So yeah, see, there's another like fucking exclamation point block over there, and like yeah. you gotta fucking. You gotta go. He'll boinky, be. Boinky. Yeah, he's, he's your road back. He's your fun journey home. This is super fun doing this with like the janky fucking jump boxes, <laughs> or just where you fucking. I miss completely. Yeah, this is fucking. <laughs> you oh, could yeah. probably use a jank box. Hey, jank box, where you at, man? Everybody loves a jank box. Yeah, uh, like fucking. I mean. Granted, I'm like $7,200 in debt, but the private hospital system was a fun, you know, journey for me of like, just not seeing the, the fucking weirdos and dead oh, shit. so good, shit. Like, See? <laughs> like, I was holding full tilt right as soon as I bounced on that box. Couldn't make it. Uh, jank box. Jank box, jank box. Because, yeah, like, that's the problem of like having like allergies and asthma and shit. Because like, the allergies is a thing where just... You know, if I'm not paying attention and not being as fucking paranoid as I should be, you know, there it is, I have to go to fucking hospital. And then, you know, what do I do there? Well, you know, I'm not about to fucking explode, so I'll wait a minute and just hang out with, like... Ugh, ferals. <laughs> you never want to hang out with the ferals, dude. Uh, like... And, like, 80% of the time, you know, 
Like, they, they can smell my feral, like, fucking DNA and they shit. They smell your roots. Like, they smell my roots, and it's like, so, you know, I'm, I get the really bad luck in the fucking, they'll, I, you know, I just have people talk to me, sort of thing. And that's fucking worse, because, you, you know, then, you don't get to just be, like, some sort of weirdo that they won't talk to. You have to, like, be a weirdo they think is like them. Yeah. And then they experience the unpleasant fucking sensation of betrayal. <laughs> and then you're not just some kind of fucking fag or whatever by their fucking estimation. Gross. You're, yeah, you're you're like, a fag has tricked them. Yeah. You know, you're like, ah, oh, you're some kind them. of, yeah, you're like, ah, oh, you're some cunt that's like, you fooled me. I was going to oh, sit here. Oh, book reading faggots. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to sit here and tell you how fucking, you know, the goddamn Chinese Muslims are going to come get me and now you just fucking used a word and I'm upset. <laughs> and like I've had that, like I've had like nearly fights happen, because you know I've I've decided to go. Oh, I'm not really sure about that. No, dude, it <laughs> happened to me the first time I ever went to Centrelink because I had to go with a friend because I I had no need to go to Centrelink. Yeah. And I nearly got in a fight because these dude like these people were like trying to buy smokes and stuff off me, and I I'm just like I had no clue what was going on. Yeah. I have an experience. This was my one of my first exposures to extreme ferals. Uh, and it was yeah, at the center link uh, at Chermside, which was just a weird Chermside's mix. Chermside's a, yeah, Chermside's a fucking odd lot at the moment. Because, like, you'd think it'd be better than fucking the valley, but it's not. No. Because, like, the valley's got ferals, but the valley's got, like, you know, there's police around as well. So the valley ferals are, like, have been, like, suitably walloped to mm. the submission. Like, they know if they act up, someone's gonna mace them. And, like, you, you do need that. <laughs> you need that, you need yeah. that there. Otherwise, you know, you're out in fucking... You know, whatever the fucking place is called, like Chermside, which is, you know, at this weird intersection now because it's being tarted up. Yeah. But like, there's still like some just absolute gutter tier well, fucking place. The problem there. is, it was like, fuck, he's what a bit the hectic. Fuck. Isn't that the guy that like worked for Dune and fucking like you know the weasels? Yeah, absolutely. There were several of them. Yeah, Chermside's a bit of a weird mix because it used to have pockets of ferals because it was just sort of a slum area of weird just. Well, yeah, it's, Mix of it, things. it was a bum hole and it got gentrified, and now you've got this fucking, it's, I, I call it the sizzling rift, you know? It's like the fucking edge of the goddamn wormhole. There's, there's one, on one side of the wormhole, there's like, oh yeah, look at that, it's like taking me to a, a fantasy land of boutique eateries and cinemas and a video game arcade. And then on the other side, there's like, just pregnant teenagers shouting at me. Like, seeing, uh, fucking, like, what looks, what really looks like a teenager with like, a kid. Just shout, oi, you faggot, at what I'm assuming is her de facto. You gotta jump on those. I don't want the- I don't, I don't care for the apples. But the apples- I'm not an apple man. They're fucking good for you, though. I like mandarins. So you see these fucking creatures, and it's just like, uh... Like, the fucking- the exhibition. Oh, the, God. The exhibition, which is, a, which is Queensland State Fair, which for ages was the only thing that happened in Brisbane. And now, I'll preface this by saying, all the agricultural shit, like, because there's a there's a whole fucking thing where it's like farmers come in to show off their fucking wares and shit. You can shit. get free steak there, it's awesome. Yeah, and you've got like, oh, what's this? This is my award-winning Guernsey cow or whatever the shit. All of that is fucking fine. I don't give a shit about that. That's what it's for. I'm completely okay with the fucking, you know, the agricultural fucking section of it. But like, then it just, like, because it was the only thing going. So now there's like rides and shit and it's it's fifty dollars to get in which is just ridiculous and like the rides are like five dollars a piece and it's this now it's just really sad like it's this sort of sad only thing going in this stupid fucking place is standing right there good for you nope at least you can like wussy well when the cameras absolutely that's unfortunate it is but yeah the, the echo is awful for yeah well I mean, that's the thing it's the exhibition now it's the echo or as it's pronounced in Rockhampton oh get out of here because I got to see that on the way here, and it's like, so the exhibition, so the exhibition's in this sort of weird spot, like, and they have public transport to it, which is actually fucking good of them. The only problem is this means now that, like, Brisbane is just chock full of, like, absolute god-tier mutants for whom this is the cultural event of the season, and it's I like- I thought that looked like a secret. I thought so too. And it's just them, and like, you just see, like, you know, women pushing like a quad pram with like four toddlers in tow, and it's like, what's your idea of a good time for this like, you know, fucking horde of people? Oh yeah, let's let's take them to a fucking you know, 
alleys of carnies and diarrhea-inducing food where your trolley, like, full of fucking infants won't fit and one of your children will get lost, but it's okay because they'll get a job working one of the rides and that'll be, like, you know, class mobility for you. Absolutely. And then we're going to take all these people and we're not going to, like, these people who are barely tech literate and we're going to tell them to use an app to work out how to get around. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... Not everything fucking sucks, like, if you're trying to use public transport, because these, these mongs will just cluster in front of the fucking thing that you're supposed to, you know, I have a, a go-kart, I go up, I go beep, and then I walk past the thing, and that's it. My interaction with anything to do with this takes, like, maybe four seconds. Yeah. And now, there's just, that was, that was a bold decision not to jump at all. That was bold. Mm. And now there's just... You know, this kind of fucking clag glue of rejected DNA standing around, just, just taking up space in front of it. I don't know whether it's just because they don't fucking care or they don't realize. Neither is acceptable, as I, far I as I'm concerned. I don't realize. I think a big problem is that if you are not from Brisbane and you don't take the public transport system here, it's very shitty if you don't have a go-kart. Well, yeah, but don't stand in front of the goddamn, like, in-hole. No, no, like, I'm not surely saying, I'm these not, cattle can figure again, out in-hole. I'm, I'm not defending that. That's just idiotic. There's a fucking, there's signs and shit yeah. of where to stand, obviously. Like, I don't know. I don't mind them not knowing fucking, like, the technology of go-karts. Okay, that's you know, what I thought these, you were trying to say. Oh, no. Like, because, again, I mine auto-fucking tops up. Like, again, I don't have to think about this whatsoever. Yeah. It's just trying to get here today... And like, you know, I would, the fucking, the way the bus worked out, I was like exactly off the rotation of the fucking train. So it's like, I, I get to the, <laughs> I get to the station. It's like, you have 29 minutes to wait for your train. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. So I didn't have to like, you know, race or anything, but like you'd get to the, the, the fucking in hole and they have, you know, the little gates and some of them are out and some of them are in. And this keeps a fucking flow of traffic going. So the fucking, you know, semi sapient hordes of fucking Brisbane can get around without like biting each other. And there's just this fucking... I think one family just amassed out front the fucking, um, the in-holes blocking all three. <laughs> and it's like, I really don't want to open up an avenue of communication. No. Because on my Lord. way there, it's, hey, yeah, at like some fucking child who is either getting hit too much or not enough. Like, I feel not enough, but it, like this could easily be a too much situation. Like maybe he's just been having, you know, the fucking sand swallowed out of him for like- Oh right, this is a no death one. Fuck um, that. Well, yeah. <laughs> like for, you know, fucking a decade. But, you know, cause I just, I, the, the, you know, they're confused and stressed. You know, it's mm. like giving a fucking rat a server farm to fix. Like it's not gonna work <laughs> it out and it's just gonna get upset. You fucking and, rat. Yeah, and look, I, you know, I fucking accept this, but also just move, like, you know, use r use right click to select your whole family at once and move them out of the fucking goddamn way. Just, you surely understand in the fucking way. Those are, like, I do feel like they work for Dune. This is a dip factory. It all makes sense. It's all coming together. They laughed at you, but now where are they? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's the fucking the Crash Bandicoot fan theory forums. You've mocked me for the last time. And he talked just like this. That scared the absolute shit out of me when I was a kid. Yeah, dude. Lots of fucking movies back then were like inherently just creepy. Large Marge scene from Pee Wee. Oh yeah. Ooh. Kiwi is just I went over right. the edge and it sounded like a dump truck. <laughs> I mean, I am I am very pro traumatizing children like that. I think it's important. They gotta learn. Yeah, like fear is an important part of the emotional fucking ecosystem. You know, it's like feeling bad about yourself. That's important. You don't get to feel good about yourself just all the time because odds on you're a fuckwit piece of shit, and there needs to be a system for you to fucking grasp that. And that's what feeling like a stupid waste of life is. That's a, you know, because you might well be one. That's, you know, that's a, you're not going to fix it if you don't know it's there. You know, like, it's like a toilet just spewing shit everywhere. Mm. I, I felt that. <laughs> I fucking, that, mm, of Aaron, Aaron, like, Aaron hunched forward like he just came in a mouth. That was a... That, that was, was a blowjob orgasm. That wasn't, like, full penetrative sex. That was... 
That was copping a gobby. Mm. That was a fucking tight jump, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't I? My, I think I may head out on an evening and cop a gobby. Whoop. Chuck them barrels at. Oh, fuck off. Like, I how? was above the notch. Come on. <laughs> oh, there's notches, is yeah. there? This, I th I'm pretty sure this is a no death level. I was so fucking close. Oh, well. I mean, you know, can't to chuck them barrels, Aaron. What it, was it was fucking. Mmm. <laughs> And you'll never find it's all right. out. alright, I've already done the 100% run. I don't need to do it again. You'll never find out who kills your partner in Toontown. It was Roger Rabbit. Yeah. With a boot. Filled with semen. I'm kind of like, I'm at once bummed there isn't a sequel yeah, to that, bummed. but also happy there isn't a sequel you to it. Bummed. I'm bummed. <laughs> Bumped, bummed. You're getting bummed. I am. Well, no, you know. Fair enough. That's when you gotta get him, I forgot! I need to reloading. Okay, now as my goon, you're going to have to have a massive portrait of me in your office. <laughs> Potteroo. Fucking everything in this country is just some fucking retarded. Hey, Potteroo, thing. mate. Get it up in ya. Potteroo. Uh, what was I looking at the other day? It wasn't the Potteroo. It was some other thing they moved to an island to be by itself so it wouldn't die. Quokka. And they're like, no, nah, it wasn't the Quokkas, it was Nimbies or some other fucking thing. Nimbies. Yeah, so they, they moved it to an island and they're like, they, 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 they taught it to like not eat, um, not eat fucking uh, cane toads. Mm. The problem was they ate cane toads because they normally eat frogs and they eat the cane toads when they die because cane toads are dicks. Um, and... They taught him to do that by like poisoning toad meat and then like, but like not with lethal poison. Like, stuff mm. just gives him the fucking the diarrhea or something, and then they're like, ah, oh, okay, then they fucking, you know. Problem is, they've been on this island with the only problem they've had to deal with being like food that makes them ill sometimes. So they don't understand predators anymore. <laughs> and that has, seems to happen really fast. Like, it's a few generations, and it's just like, you know, they're just walking up to like fucking dingoes. Oh. <laughs> so that's, uh, it's, hey, it's, what's this thing, bro? Uh, so, like, science is trying to figure this out. And All right, welcome I'm, to the worst level in Crash Bandicoot. Oh, that would be fun. And I'm suspecting... What the fuck? I'm suspecting they're gonna have to have some cunt, like a scientist or a grad student, probably. Um, wow, this is... That's, that's offensive. Um, just dress up in, like, you know, like a dingo furry. To, I shouldn't have said dingo fairy right then. Just don't care, just don't. Um, to like fucking scare the shit out of some, you know, mounted Australian mammal. And, you know, teach it to like not fucking try and cuddle predators. Come on, turtle fucker. That around. turtle shouldn't be up here. Oh, that's good. You should just do that all the time. Oh, it doesn't work all the time. Oh, it did Newton. in the original. Fig Newtons. Yeah. You slide, you slide off very easily in this version. That's a shame. Mm. Just a little. Because that's not far enough, I don't think. Uh, no. no. It's been, it's, it's, I've, you know, it's been a bit of a mixed week. You know, like fucking oh. Emu Paradise closed down, which was one of the best, um, uh, Sides to get bombs. Excuse me? <laughs> well, he turned around. I man, jumped on him, dude. I was in the. Yeah, but you know, his little, his little penis face turned around and took. He can get fucked. <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> you know what? Fuck you. I'm jumping on the rope. I'm not even playing your stupid game by your stupid rules anymore. Yeah, bounce on your oh, belly. Oh, that is fucking tense. What you got? Because, and you know, it's important we shut down ROM sites so we can pay Nintendo twenty dollars a year to play Balloon Fight online. Fuck yeah, man. I'm looking forward to playing <laughs> Balloon Fight Online for 20 bucks a year. That sounds fucking awesome. Oh, uh, I know. Like, I... It's... Sign me the fuck up. You know, it's it, it's not healthy. Like, it's not paleo, Look, but I, I love do... Nintendo, but we will, here at Keep It Classic, we will never stop making fun of their stupid, stupid ideas. Oh, yeah. No, their, Nintendo on, and, and Online is just fucking hilarious. It's like watching the monkey trying to, you know work with tools, but the tools aren't tools. That monkey that found the 3DS that time. Yeah, he's just like, mm -hmm. how does this work? Boing. This is one of the most... See? Didn't off. have the momentum. Bro-momentum. Bro-momentum. 
That's when you. That's when you're fucking playing COD and you get enough fucking kills that you can just <laughs> slide into your fucking roommate's you get, ass with no you repercussions. Get, get dude, I just got momentum. a fucking. I just got 25 kills in a row, dude. Yeah, fuck me in the ass, alright. It's not. Yeah. Right, you deserve it. No homo. Yeah. Yep, no homo. No homo. Yeah, just gotta say no homo, and you can have a fulfilling 25 year homosexual yeah. relationship and still be totally straight. As long as you high five after sex and say, yeah, bro, no homo, <laughs> you're fine. Very important. Yeah, you can get married. You know, you can finally come out to your parents. Yeah, it's fine. You know, it's, just, it's absolutely fine. And you really, like, you gotta get around to doing that. You know? I mean, if you don't, we will. <laughs> We're pro homo. <laughs> And no one wants that. <laughs> you went through the fucking gap! I know, dude. You threaded the needle. I did. I thread the worst needles in platformers. But yeah, so base. I mean, it's... It's not 100%, but it's, you know, more than likely Nintendo fucking throwing a titty fit about their bullshit. Well, they've been, they've been taking down ROMs for a while now. Um, well, yeah, that was like, e Emu Paradise had to get rid of all of the Nintendo ROMs first. Yeah, like so they, they, didn't, they didn't choose to shut down. Uh, th sorry, they chose to shut down. They didn't yeah. get a cease and desist or anything. Another site got, like, sued because they were like, I can't hey, remember which boy, one. Yeah. you guys, stop doing it. And no, they were like, no, no, fuck you. And then they got sued. <laughs> so <laughs> it's for a site like Emu, who were, like, the biggest, it is very... They were the only Very fucking emulation site I could go to where I felt like I didn't feel like I was gonna get molested. Yeah, they were you the know? safe option. Yeah, like every fucking one of those sites, you kind of like, all right, look, I'm going down a back alley to get like crack. I'm probably gonna get yeah. molested. That's why I'm very pro ROM sets. Like, get a full ROM set, like, as soon as you can, and just sit on that. Like, <laughs> keep, keep it forever. Um, yeah, like, you can get them from, um, torrent sites. Yeah. I mean, that would once, be Because once you're done, you're done. Like, Everything up to Nintendo 64 is, like, a few, you know, maybe a... Very digestible. Yeah, it was, you know... Or if you're a big SNES... In the tens of gigabytes at most. If you're a really big SNES fan, get a SNES Classic and mod it, because that thing's wizardry. Really good. Um, ho I, I'm just hoping the 64 Classic is as moddable and works. That'd be nice, yeah. That would be the, 64 that would emulation be the is still a little fiddly. It's not terrible anymore, but it used to be fucking just absolute butthole. But like, so fucking, you know, I'm bummed about that. I'm bummed that I've got no fucking, you know, the Emu Paradise is shutting down. But in the meantime, I found like the collection chamber, which has things like Black Dahlia, which is actually a really good fucking, um... FMV adventure game from like the 90s and I have I have spent hours trying to get this game to run. Oh really? And yeah, like about four years ago, it was at the point where I downloaded a copy of Windows 95 to run on my Windows 10 and I was like <laughs> Googling how to get, but I'm, I'm like, oh, this will be easy. I'll just get Windows 95 and I'll run on Windows 10. I can do that. I was like, okay, I can just, it'll be worth it. You know, I'm, I'm saying to myself. But then I'm like, oh, I have to, I have to have a Windows 95 fucking key. And I'm like, okay. oh yeah. yeah. And I'm like, I just don't know where to go about getting a valid one at this day and age. Yeah, you know? I'm yeah. just like, uh, just the sites fuck. you get them from are gonna be sketchy. At best. Yeah, and so I'm just like, oh, just fuck it. So the collection chamber is a place that I've you now downloaded a bunch of shit from, and this dude called Biff, <laughs> of all things, <laughs> fucking um, has built PC EM front ends for him. So you double click on it. And then you get the uh, boot up for an old, like, fucking IBM. Goes, <laughs> and it's just like, yeah! It goes, That's Windows, cool. Windows 95. And, like, if you don't... The best part is, is because you got to, like, minimize the fucking thing. And, like, you, yeah, after you finish the game, because it just boots straight into the game. And it's like, oh, this is cool. Hmm. Um, fucking, you know, the Discworld Noir, which is a fucking great game. Like, it's got a bit of sound stuttering at the moment on my copy, but i got to fiddle with it. I might be able to get that gone. Like, Discworld Noir, you know, that fucking runs. Um... You know, and just without hassle. And Discworld Noir is another fucking game that I spent fucking ages trying to get to work. Because it's a noir Discworld game, which is fun. And it has one of my favorite lines and one that I've used since, you know, probably for the past 20 years now, which is just, ah, oh, nothing like a cup of imp-made coffee to get me jittery and paranoid for another day. <laughs> and so there's these games now, and you just double-click on it, it's like, oh, yeah, here's Windows 95. And then, yeah, well, after you exit the game, though, it, like, just exit you back out to this Windows 95 desktop, and then you gotta, like, actually shut down the, quote, computer, end quote, and... Alright, that, that, that's a bit weird. Oh, that guy had done, because that's grabby. That just, that's just, that's sinister. He touched Cortex's balls. That's, yeah, that is sinister. And so, yeah, I got, like, a bunch of shit running. RCPS3, and, like, here's the thing that I have about fucking emulation. Now, beyond the fact that, A, I've personally purchased 
like every available opportunity ways to play these games properly. And it's on, about it's about well again for a lot of cost and ease of accessibility. Yeah, and again for a lot of these old things, nobody you know fucking owns or gives a shit anymore. Like I don't know who's gonna be making money from you know 3DO stuff. Probably not a lot of people, dude. Yeah. Only the people who like used to greenlight that dodgy emulation shit on Steam. Mm. Oh, wow. So I, I mean, why like, would I do that? Can I respawn him. Uh, oh, they do respawn. So and then there's the other thing of like there's licensed games you're never gonna get. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter like if they really if Nintendo releases a fucking you know 64 mini, WWF No Mercy is never gonna be on. Golden Eye won't be on it. Yeah, Golden Eye won't be on. Perfect Dark is. 50-50. Yeah, puppy dogs pushing it. Well, isn't like fucking Banjo Kablooey a fucking assist trophy? I don't in know. In Smash or some I have shit? No clue. Someone I, is. I haven't watched. I've been keeping up with Smash. Well, fucking Simon, Simon Belmont and Richter. I are saw fucking, that. Uh, I saw King K. Rule. That made me very happy. <laughs> I know. I thought you'd have liked that because you've been going on about oh, that for I a know. while. Oh, um, but yeah, I do. I do love like Simon lashes out. Like yeah. it's just such a funny thing. And just Luigi getting fucking killed. That is fucking dark for Nintendo. I love it. <laughs> I know. But, like, well, one thing I love about that is, like, oh, yeah, what, what, what is the one stage? So they have a Castlevania stage. What's it got? 34 soundtracks. That's nuts. Yeah. Why is this? We left the Smash Brothers sound department alone with a Castlevania license <laughs> for 20 minutes, and it's like, this is what happens. And it's like, yeah, that's fair. Because... You know, Castlevania usually does have some fucking absolute ripping fucking music. But like... Yeah, like there's, you know... Black Dahlia's not gonna see a fucking re-release. No, you know? God, like that's, no. that's the fucking thing about this shit. <clears throat> and then, or, you know, we wind up with the Nintendo situation. Which is, they're fucking incompetent and don't know how to deal with their own amazing back catalogue of brilliant, you know, shit. And they just won't tell us. That's the thing. You know, like, the, what's the announcement so far? Oh, like, Balloon Fight and the sport games. Yeah. And, like, yeah, there's the Marios and Zelda. That's literally, that's, and that's an abysmal, like, I don't care about soccer. No. You know? Like, I don't care <laughs> about NES games anymore. <laughs> no, I know. I don't yeah. own a NES Classic for a reason. It's yeah. not for me. I, the SNES was way better for and me. And, like, because one of, again, one of two things is the fucking, you know, situation here. Either they're going to do SNES games, which would be sensible, well, or they're they not, which is demented. So just tell us. Nintendo. Yeah, so just tell us. And, I, and we, we, we don't get to know. We just get, like, a carnival of bullshit and shutting down ROM sites. It's and so funny, dude, like, because the, they made an announcement about their online system. Yeah. And it's like, oh, here we go, here we go. We might get some information. Oh, it's probably coming in September or something, eh? Yeah, what new like, information what? showed up in that? Nothing, I don't think. I swear there was, yeah, because the last time we got information, it was like, yeah, it's going to be, like, $20. It's going to have cloud saves and, you know, also coming out, eh? Like, they don't, they don't want you on the internet. No, like, that's they, just, they want you all, everyone to own one fucking Switch and to buy the fucking discs and to sit on a fucking Japanese train and play them because that's the only way they fucking understand fucking video games. It's just such a fucking chore watching this occur. And, like, the, the, the most annoying... What's making noise? The most annoying thing about it for me is I just want the old game. That's all I want. I want the old games. Like, that's, that's, why good, I was, yeah. that's why I was super excited for the Switch because... I could play all the old Nintendo games on the toilet with a really decent size screen, you know, and... All they'd have to do is go Nintendo Flix, and it's got all the games, it's got, it'll be Nintendo 64 and GameCube games eventually. Don't, you don't even need to have a lot of them at a time, just have like, you could have literally, you could have five from each generation a month. Yeah. Like, that would be fine, give me five, six, That would be, that would be a lot. lot, I'd consider that a fucking, you know, that'd be fine, yeah, five... five just like, playing through like five... Games? That's a lot. month? That's a month. That's a lot. I mean, that's the thing. It's like the Switch could and should be the Nintendo to have. Yep. It'd be so easy and so good. And it just, it's know. the sensible option. And that's why they don't do it. Because oh, they like, have to redesign the wheel. The wheel's not good. No, the that's the problem game. of being an innovator for so long yeah. is, you know, the same thing happened with fucking, um, what I'm you my are, here. yeah, you're dancing close to the sun oh, no. here. A stobo. Nah, don't worry. Oh, uh, you're fine. Um, there, there may be three boxes over there. Fuck. <laughs> fucking hate that. Like, ugly prick. Look at him. They just fuck with their fucking fan base so hard. And I, I, I will say, because normally the Nintendo fan base is attached. They have like this little cord coming out of the back of their it's head. It goes in an umbilical line to you know Miyamoto's mouth. 
and he cries beautiful tears of creativity, and then the Nintendo fans sob and, you know, experience the emotions for themselves. And... Normally they're fucking awful, but this is one thing where I've consistently seen every thread being like, this is shit. No one thinks it's a good idea, and if no one from your, <laughs> if, p- your if, pathetic yeah. fan base that I literally know. defends everything doesn't think it's a good if idea, you're fucked up. the church of, you know, latter-day Miyamoto actually is like, this is very good. And the funny thing is, like, what I'd really like to see is I just want Japan removed from power. I just want America to have all the decisions. We need to nuke Nintendo. No, like, I honestly do, because Reggie's a genius. He's a marketing genius. He's a very smart man. I feel like if he were actually in charge, we'd have, like, oh, yeah, fucking, dude. you know, a virtual console that our fucking, you know... Absolutely. You know, he accounts knows. were attached to, and he we could fucking, you know... what the fan base wants. Use... That must be hard. Like, oh, imagine absolutely. going to and go, hey, I've got an actual idea for how to run a business. No! Because, like, he... Oh, do you have a better idea? No! Like, let me... Just before we end this episode, I'll quickly bring up his, like... His, his, his CV. Stats. Yeah. Because it's impressive. He has defeated a Sasquatch at unarmed combat. Yeah. I know that for a fact. Um, he, That's why he wears its eyebrows. That's... Because the thing is, he's the president and chief... CEO of Nintendo of America. Like, he oh, he just do so well. Like, okay, let's, what is what has he got? Korea. Alright. Alright, so he was Senior Director of National Marketing at Pizza Hut. He launched the Bigfoot Pizza and the Big New Yorker, which were very successful. I remember the Bigfoot. Yeah. Um, he was the head of marketing for Guinness, um, was responsible for all brands. He worked as chief marketing officer at Derby Cycle. Uh, Chinese food company Panda, BH1, senior vice president. Huh. He was responsible for a 30% increase in ratings by refocusing the channel's content to appeal to younger viewers. So young he people. knows he's shit. Like, he's, yeah. if you gave him the power Nintendo has as a brand and staying power and just went, you can do this now. Here you go, man. Instead, <laughs> the things run by genitalless Japanese video game imps who really I mean you shouldn't you can't let your mystical garden gnomes run everything you need to keep them in a little box and just let them come up with fun story yeah. ideas I always I always give you the I always this is what I always say to people who don't understand this because people are like oh no some Japanese developers make really good games some do yeah but if you give them unlimited freedom that's the down point and Nintendo has that Nintendo doesn't have they don't care yeah because imagine if, like, one of your weeby Japanese games... Imagine Nier. Imagine Nier suddenly yeah. had a full company behind it and they could do anything they wanted. Yeah. Suddenly, every game starts getting watered down and, you know, changed every time. You're not going to have a good experience anymore. And then I'm going to call you a weeb. Yeah. 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 Keep It Classy is proudly sponsored completely by its fans. We thank you for your support. It expanded somehow. I'll have you know.